Hey guys and welcome to the second episode of Analyze Your Store, um, this time with hot offer for you. Thanks for all the, the requests to analyze your store, but please uh, stop them now because I've, I've received plenty already. Or if you decide to still um, send me your store, then keep in mind that I will definitely need some time in order to, to analyze it. Maybe like a month or so, because I plan to do it once a week. Um, however, so today we are going to go with hot offer for you, which is, as I see here, uh, um, yeah, a general website with discounts for all items that you can think of. And first of all, I must say I like the design. I mean, for this kind of website where you have a lot of categories or very broad categories and and it's all um, focused on, you know, discounts and so on, this is a, a pretty cool theme, I think. I also like the fact that here on top you have some yeah some sort of specials so you have here the kitchen and home section you have an enticing picture about gaming and uh, this mobile case discount uh, campaign and of course something for Valentine Valentine's Day so I think um, yeah the header section is pretty pretty good when we go down here um, yeah you have these these uh, Badges about month, month, 14 days money return, secure shopping, and free ground delivery. Also quite good, and I also like that everything is kept in this, uh, yeah, in this coherent red style. So the the navigation bar and the here, the, for example, the numbers, the text, and also the sale buttons and everything. So this is a pretty cool thing. Um, another thing is. Well, of course, this is a very, very, very general website. I mean, if if your topic is to offer uh, reduced items, like it is in this case, hot offer for you, then this might be okay. But then you really have to be focused on these kind of discounts. And then you really have to see that you are um, offering cheap prices, right? So if you simply say that your website is about hot offers and you basically sell anything from sports and outdoors to computer and office and consumer electronics, but if you sell all these th things, but don't keep the promise of having hot offers really, then um, yeah, maybe you may face some hard times in uh, making regular sales and getting a loyal customer base because people who, who um, like these kind of websites normally are people who are hunting, you know, discounted items and they expect that you really give them very low prices. So let's go just into one category. And here already we see a lot of mobile cases and what I notice already it was similar uh, to the last store um, Pretty much all products are on discount and this is okay if you have like if, if this is basically your discount category and you have like hundreds of products who are, which are not discounted but as I see here you have a very you know you, you have very broad categories so sports and autos toys and kids I almost feel like on Amazon but when I'm on the category now, you just have basically uh, six different items. And I must say this for me personally, this doesn't fit because when I go to a website like this and it is so broad, I personally expect some, some, more, uh, yeah, some more items that I can basically choose from because right now you're basically relying on the fact that your customer likes one of these six products. So, um, yeah, this is actually pretty difficult. I mean, if someone comes to your store and he doesn't like one of these six, then there's basically no uh, phone case for him, right? So while you can, of course, use Facebook ads and target, for example, one specific case only, and people who click it might be highly interested in this specific case. Um, yeah, this, if someone is in the store and w might want to browse some other products, he will just see oh you have four five more and uh, yeah that's that doesn't look so good to me so I would really try to add some more products I mean with with um, tools like like Oberlo this shouldn't be a problem really spend like a few hours or, or dedicate half a day to add really a lot of products to it and um, yeah it will definitely look better by the way I really like these I really like this uh, Star Wars design Yeah, well, too bad that I don't buy uh, phone cases, but else I may, uh, I might have bought this now, but however, so this, 
this uh, the product page also looks pretty 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 good. I mean, what you could definitely add right here is that you give some information on the design itself when you make it here clickable. For example, right now everyone has to you know click through the whole click through the whole variations, and this is pretty annoying. So especially I could imagine if you're on mobile, this is even more annoying because. And I think yeah, because just like expected, when you when you click on the on the picture and it would jump to the to the right color, this would be okay then, even not perfect but okay. But right now, you basically have to go through every single item to find the the, the picture and the the product that you are looking for, and this is not so good. For example, you can you could for example say here for iPhone four for S R two D two or something. Or if it's if it's this, then you could name here stormtrooper design or something like this, because this is way easier and way more intuitive for the customer. Um, yeah, the product description could be a little more enticing. Of course, I will be doing a video about product descriptions this week, because I see that many people miss this out. You are basically just listing a bunch of features, but especially if you are targeting i mean you target star wars fans with with this product so i think a description where you really you know talk make some star wars ref references and and talk about how great these designs are and and you know give a little bit background information about star wars that this would make it even more enticing for a customer to really buy the product i mean the the customers in the end they are not machines who just go through the feature list and say okay it's 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 a case and it's a 3D relief or relief or relief or however you pronounce it. It's clear and hard and plastic, so I I will buy it. Of course, there's a lot more to it. So if you if you um, if you have some experience in copywriting, then just go ahead. Or you you can even try it with a few products. But you could even consider hiring a professional copywriter. There are some quite cheap ones on um, Upwork.com, for example. Yeah, but so far I, I like the product page besides these two things so you have to change this product variation drop down menu here you should add some more info to your product description uh, i like that you have these three tabs it's very very good overview and i also like that you are transparent in your shipping right here it also seems that your okay processing time is one to three days but does it also show when it will arrive I would recommend to not use a Gmail address. So this one here looks quite, yeah, unprofessional. I mean, pass QE official. This doesn't sound like it has something something to do with your store. So I would recommend always getting your own email addresses. So for example, info at hot offer for you or something because this looks highly unprofessional. Um, yeah, of course, the related products in this case are only mobile case uh, phone cases. Then. If you would have a large variety of products, you could also add, for example, other Star Wars designs. But if you sell something like this, always be careful about the uh, trademark and copyright laws. I mean, there are different everywhere. This, this is why I never give any information and any yeah, advice on this, because it's a very, very difficult and very complicated field. But I would never sell something that is of a certain trademark. So even though these are designs and not photos or something, well, this is something where you have to decide by yourself in the end. Um, then when I look down, the footer looks a little bit empty. So you add, you could add some, you know, contact. Okay, you have this here, but still you could maybe use the sitemap and put these uh, social sharing buttons in the footer because right now it looks pretty empty. Maybe also make these guys a little, a little bigger. Okay, here you can basically send a message yes of course okay what i also miss here right uh, similar to the other store is this store is basically relying on people chasing offers but you lack uh, an exit pop-up so if someone wants to leave the store you could say hey you want even even bigger discounts you want an even greater uh, discount right now um and then you could come up with something like uh, save X percent if you buy this amount of products or something. Think of a, of a discount coupon. I mean, I mean, I could imagine that your margins are not that big, so you might not be able to give like a 20% discount 
but think of something that your customers might like and think of think of something that is doable for you and that way you can make them buy something when they want to leave now okay this product is out of stock is there something that i okay add to cart yeah well this is in my opinion not that great because the people who put something in, into their cart will are immediately directed to the checkout which means they cannot you know continue shopping i mean of course they can they, they can make a click again but i all what what i always prefer is that if someone adds a product to cart i would always make it pop out so um if someone for example buys this this uh this thing here then it will just pop out and you know you can continue shopping right away instead of going to another site and then going back and then you land on the on the index page this is something that i personally would always do and um, yeah i think this could further enhance your your store so all in all this one looks quite professional and quite decent i also like the logo i must say well you know that i don't really like these general type of stores but uh, I think you already told me when you wrote the email to me but if you really have a topic where the store is about in this case this is about offers then well then it's not that big of a problem if you have a general store but still like i said right in the beginning if your store is centered around uh, centered around offers then make sure that you really have something to offer and that you really have first uh, a big variety of products and or second um, make sure that your products are really really discounted so no one would stick to no one would stick to a store that is called hot offers with a very small selection and you know like normal prices Be because i have no clue if these prices are good or not i mean of course they are all cheap but probably uh, there are a ton of ebay sellers and amazon sellers to say it for cheaper so if you decide to go with a hot offer store like this one then make sure that you really have something to offer make some specials make some special promos discounts whatever and yeah good luck with your store um, and i hope you're doing well i don't know if you made any sales so far i don't remember your email right now but um yeah you could definitely get this running so good luck with your store and see you in the next episode of let me analyze your store bye